Hey, how's it going folks? Welcome back to another video. If you guys haven't already heard the news, there is a new creator contest, which is pretty cool. So they had a whole trailer talking about it, and they went over it briefly. Reckham actually had the full video not on the official Reckham channel, but on the Reckham Creative Club channel. You guys can check that out, that will be linked down inside the description below, but I will actually be reading from the genuine website. So this is our new creator contest. Its theme is Rhythm and Rooms, and as you guys can see, you will be receiving these items if you were to win. From what we see right here, we have some pretty cool retro electronic robot items. They're pretty sick. I really do like the headphones, and on top of that, the torso isn't too bad as well. And on top of that, that makeup print skin is just... Uh, need I say more? It um, makes me speechless how beautiful that maker pen skin is. I like it a lot, but what could change about it? Be sure to let me know because it's still a concept. How could these items actually improve in any way? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Then you go on to start it off with this. With Rec Rocks just completed, we want to see you bring your musical and auditory talents to Rec Room with the theme Rhythm and Rooms. This contest is all about making rooms as good as they play. Create a room with an amazing original soundtrack, or make an incredible room that uses audio as a gameplay element, or build a gorgeous environment that sounds as good as it looks. So you could make essentially a really detailed hangout map that really matches up the music and really is in par with it, or literally Beat Saber, e either two works. It's pretty cool though, and they're doing stuff different with this actual creator contest. Now they have some notable changes from the past contest. For starters, something very interesting is that they're going to be rewarding a lot more tokens than they ever have for these creator contests. Some pretty interesting rewards on the line here, and I wonder how that's going to affect competition. On top of that, they're also going to be changing the finalists from 10 to 7. They made a new category for Reckham Studio. This basically means anybody that has access to Reckham Studio and decides to participate and wants to make a Reckham Studio map incorporated with this actual contest will have to place their actual map inside that category. Kind of glad that they did something like that so it still makes people with Reckham Studio available to actually participate in contests without completely landsliding everything. They're also going to be more explicit about what it takes to actually qualify as a semi-finalist. They're looking at the top 50 most engaging rooms in each category, and engagement is a combination of player time spent in your room as well as the total number of visits. Engagement's very important for this, and it's going to be one of your top qualifiers for the semi-finals. So people are going to be looking for engagement, which some people kind of disagree with, as I mean, you really just need to be a popular creator to be able to and get that engagement. Some people will argue that it's unfair. Some people will argue that it is fair. It's a whole mess. But let me know your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about that? They've eliminated some previous rules about changing your room during the contest, and it's up to you to make sure your room is playable for players and judges at the correct times. So that means that instead of trying to give you guys second chances, they're finally holding you responsible. Be sure to turn in your maps on time and don't be lazy people if you plan on participating. Record doesn't seem to be playing around this event. Let's continue reading. How do I submit a room to the contest? When you create a room, actually you need to tag rhythm and rooms. It literally is right there on the screen. Just put that tag in into your actual room and that'll actually submit your room into the contest. You need to be sure to publish your room by April 19th at 11.59 p.m. PST. And after that, you have to choose only one of the following tags that best describes your map between hashtag art, hashtag activity, hashtag hangout, hashtag PVP, hashtag room studio, or hashtag quest. Inside this website that I'm using, you can see guidelines below. As we've already won over, we went over all the actual prizes, the maker pen skin, and the actual torso and, you know, head items. Though for first place, which will be six winning teams, they'll get the golden maker pen trophy, the rhythm and rooms maker pen skin, torso accessory items, and two million tokens. That's crazy. For second place, which is six winning teams, we'll get the silver maker pen trophy, rhythm and rooms maker pen skin, torso and accessory avatar items, and one million two hundred fifty thousand tokens. And for third place, which is still six winning teams, pretty impressive, which will be bronze maker pen trophy, rhythm and rooms maker pen skin, torso and accessory avatar items, and 750,000 tokens. And lastly, for fourth all the way through seventh, which will be 24 winning teams, rhythm and rooms torso accessory, avatar items, and 250,000 tokens. So as we see by that, just by the scale alone, if you scale anywhere between seventh prize and first prize, which is fairly easy, I mean, as long as you make a 
decent and well-developed enough map, you're going to still be making a lot of tokens. Keep in mind though, this is only for owners and co-owners. We'll go over more of that later, but let's talk about the awards that they'll actually have. They'll have awards for the best original character design, best costume design, best audio design, best original soundtrack, best Reckham trailer, best room thumbnail, best animation, how did they do that award, and rising star award. Just the standard trophies and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. Now when is the contest and how are the winners determined? I'll read this last bit and then we're going to have rules and guidelines and all that junk. I really don't want to bore you with all of that. I'm going to actually allow you guys to actually read that for yourself. If you guys want to find out guidelines and rules and all that for the contest, there will be a link to the official website down inside the actual description below. I want to get that said before we finish this off and uh, let's read the rest of this. Now they'll have the build phase which starts from March 15th all the way to April 14th. Here you'll get to work on your room, get it ready for players, and they'll be looking for rooms that fit the theme and are engaging. The play test phase will begin on April 15th all the way to April 19th, which will have your room open for testing. Your room must be published though by April 19th, 11.59pm PST in order to qualify for the engagement calculations on the 20th. And for the play phase, you'll have from April 20th to May 4th, which will, you know, just have your actual room being public. This will be calculated to see if it qualifies for the final judging phase, ensuring that you have enough engagement inside your actual room. On top of that, a major change from the previous contest, you can actually keep updating your actual room. You can edit it and your rooms will be judged based on the state of the actual room at 11.59am PST on May 4th. If it helps, you can measure your room's engagement on Rec.net in your creator dashboard. Be sure to go check it out and uh, what are your guys' thoughts? From this point forward, if you continue scrolling on, you'll be intrigued by a bunch of rules and guidelines and stuff like that. So if you are interested in actually participating, I'm going to put it on you to actually read that out. Are you guys going to be participating inside this creator contest? Are these actual awards worth it? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below and whilst you guys are commenting, be sure to subscribe and punch that like button as it's very important for the channel and I'll catch you guys all inside the next one. So always without further ado, Profist.